this is my birthday present. Okay. <laughs> my Equil note pen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty cool because I can write on paper, which I enjoy doing, and it converts it to an electronic file. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, I can connect it with my phone or with my iPad. It likes uh, Apple devices. So <laughs> if I had a Mac, I could connect it with my Mac yeah. as well and download the app for it. Doesn't quite as much like my my PC at so, the moment. So the idea is you're gonna you're able to hook this thing up and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of show it off here in a second. But you're able to write on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. um, and that will you know whenever you sync it, well, I'm gonna go to the cloud, so you'll have that across several different yes. formats here. Yes. Okay. That is exactly how that works. Now you you you've dove into it a little bit here, right? Uh huh. So um like now now show us like how that works like you know again it's it's bluetooth to connect to your your phone but it does, you don't need to have your phone like on and connected when you're using it right Yes you do Yes okay Um so I have there's a Equal Note app that I had downloaded for my for my phone so I open that up and make sure that I have the one complaint that I have about it is even though I have it set up for the Bluetooth connectivity, I actually have to go in and connect it to the Bluetooth every time that I want to use the pen. Really? Yes. They said that they're working on that. Okay. So that's probably going to be an update. So, I mean, this is this is obviously. I think this thing just came out, right, Chilla? Yeah, it's 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 a pretty pretty new. Yeah, it, yeah. it has some bugs. They're working on it, but it's it's pretty cool because I like to write. Mm. I, I can type, but I, I like to write. Um, like especially for note taking purposes, it's I tend to retain it more if I'm actually writing it out with my hand. Yeah. Um, so this is nice because I can write it out and then instead of having papers and papers and papers, I can just go to my phone and I can have it on there. But it's kind of cool. Uh, you have a little sensor thingy over here that you stick at the top of your your paper. Mm -hmm. And can you uh, not, do anything with that? Uh, like to, to see what I'm doing if with you it? Hold it up. I think we're going to be able to see that. Yeah, hold it as far out as you can so we can get that there. Okay. Now go ahead and, and start. Actually, doing I'm going to hold it up like that. Okay. So I just make sure that it's connected. Mm -hmm. So I click the little button to make sure that it's responsive. Mm -hmm. And there's a little dot on the screen to show me that I've got that it, that it's connected and I can do stuff. Now, when I'm waving it around in the air, it doesn't do anything. But when I start to actually write, Now, it's actually really small, so I, I can't actually hear it. Well, just a little bit. So get it in there. And well, it's actually oh, there we it's writing exactly how I'm writing it on the piece of paper. Mm -hmm. So you see there I've got high awesome cast. It's in my handwriting. So if I want to design something. There's my signature. It's awesome. It's so, pretty quick to respond to. It's it's instantaneous. Like that's the pretty cool thing is I don't have to wait for it to to respond mm -hmm. to anything. It's it's instantaneous. I can just go ahead. It's bam right there. Um, and it's nice because with the app itself, I have different. I I can have different notebooks. So okay. each of, each of those colored squares, it's different things that I want to have, and I can create them for different things. So if I wanted to do lists, or if I'm working on you know, multiple projects at once. And I want to have a different project for or a different cover for each thing. They have different colors for the covers that I can select. And then obviously I can title them. So I have like Missy, I have awesome cast for, for the sample that we're doing for tonight. And it's pretty cool. And in the settings, I can have it set so that it uh, connects with my Google drive. Nice. So I can access it from my Google, Google drive in order to, to get to it that way. Um, have you seen, is there any connectivity with the, uh, Evernote? I don't use Evernote. I know you don't, but I don't know if you saw if there's like an option for it or anything. Yeah. I, I think Evernote does connectivity. I know with certain Bluetooth pens, I don't know if it will with that one. Okay. Um, it does more stylus ones where you're writing right on the thing. Cause what Evernote bought pen ultimate and they do the connectivity. And you can so write they have their ultimate. own, <clears throat> but you're so, so since you're, since you can store it in Google Docs, can you then? I'm guessing it'll sync between your iPad and your um, your iPhone. That's my understanding of it. Um, okay. As long as you have the app installed, you can you, get, you, you can get it across platform across. No, you 
Um, have you tried it? You haven't tried this on the iPad, right? I have not tried it on no, the iPad. But we, we have the iPad 1, so I'm not even sure if it's going to be compatible. Okay. And that's why I haven't tried it, because yeah. I just figured it wouldn't be. Yeah. But cool. I know that on the website, when I was looking into, like, specifically about it, it's iPhone, iPad, and iOS. So if, if I actually had a Mac, I could 